is working and all the visuals working I think it's looking good but um someone tell me if like the audio isn't working um over everything is looking good on my side so if there's a problem it might be YouTube or your own device not being muted uh, but I don't know all right so the goal for this stream at least um, is going to be mainly focused in the back door uh, I want to get some gum grinding done this stream since I'm actually starting to run a little bit low since I haven't done it in a while um, giveaways are definitely not helping my supply of glitchy loot gum um, let me go check. Looks like, it looks like audio is working and visuals all good. I think, I hope. Um, but I, the first thing I wanted to do this stream is I haven't quite finished up all the quests I want to do before grinding gum. Um, mainly is going to be working on Riley over here and then Rowan in the later part of Backdoor. So we'll go ahead and start both of those since doing those at the same time is actually super efficient. Um, like it's, you, you can just hop between both areas and then it allows time for the other ghosts to respawn while you're working on the ghosts in the other area. And then all like the other quests line up very nicely too. So. It just works out super nicely doing Ryan and Ro Rowan and Ryan and Roly Riley and Rowan at the same time. So um, that's what we're going to go ahead and start with. Hopefully, it the stream doesn't lag too badly. I know, like when I'm streaming, I'm usually lagging a decent amount. Um, usually doesn't affect too much. It's usually comparable to what I'm usually lagging at. So, but we'll see. Hello! Good to see people making it out the stream. Um, that does mean that I set up at least something correctly if people can at least see the stream. Um, there's always those settings that I don't know what they mean and could always accidentally mess with at some point that breaks the entire stream, so that's good to see. Um, you got your goal of the mini final pet? Yeah, I know I use mini final quite a bit for stats. Um, it's slightly better than ghostly vision pets. Which is really nice. I mean, I wouldn't recommend like trading for it since it's a little bit more, a little bit harder to get than go a lot harder to get than Ghostly Vision, and it's only a little bit more stats, so not super worth it stat-wise. But it is definitely a cool pet to have, um, especially since it is just slightly better, so you can still use it even when you get those Ghostly Vision stuff, or even if you already have them, you can still get some use out of it. Anyways, one of my long-term goals, hopefully on this rebirth, I know I was planning this one on my 10th rebirth a while ago, um, but is to get like cosmic wings. It shouldn't actually be too difficult now that the grinding gum is buffed so much that it's almost broken for endgame players. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, if you're pl planning on grinding for ghostly vision bags and stuff, the best way to do that is to server hop in the worlds that you are trying to go for so um yeah it's it's one of those things where like going for those ghostly vision bags for a classified it's going to take way too long to actually get there like i i'd recommend just not worrying about it and if it ever does happen it's more of something lucky that did happen rather than a trying to aim for it since if you do aim for it you may end up like completely missing out on it and just getting frustrated that you can't get it all right how much more of these ghosts do we need for riley probably like one more you have a lot of the yeah okay one more i have a lot of the quests from the void i started into that uh yesterday um so clutters up my journal quite a bit Yeah, the, some, sometimes just having goals like classifieds and stuff can be super nice. I know one of my endgame ones is Cosmic Wing, and I haven't even gotten close to that. Um, I mean, it doesn't help that 
they released Toshi Blade, which I had to go spend a billion gems for, which is actually a really cool board. Um, I don't I don't quite like how the blue and yellow mix together, but like the red and black could definitely work quite well together. Yeah, yeah, so, sometimes those classifieds, just RNG can just be really weird sometimes. Um, like, depending on RNG is probably one of the worst things to do in games. Like, depending on it to get a classified, like, you can get it, like, instantly and not even expect it. Or you can just be spending way more than the average and just get really annoyed quickly at it. So, in some, some respects, having stuff like that is not always the best. I know I know there's been one person in Ghost Simulator, at least, that was grinding a lot for a developer classified. Like, tons and tons of blocks by keys, like 2,000 plus, and just never got one. Whereas there's someone else who grinded, like, I think it was, it was less than 500 keys for sure. And got like four or something ridiculous like that, and it just shows how bad RNG can be if you're on the bad side of it. Uh, how do I have so many crate keys? I've actually been doing fern every single rebirth, which actually has helped quite a bit with my keys. Um, and so that's where most of my keys have come from. But also, I got another hundred since I had done second arc, and you get compensated. Got a compensational. 100 key crates if you had done the second arc rebirth perk before it was transferred over and then also just playing a lot i guess um since you do get it, them from boxes also or the boss chests also but mainly from doing fern every single rebirth for the last 15 rebirths it started stacking up quite a bit um anyways now we're into mushroom and reverse city so we'll go ahead and start over here, I guess. Um, but yeah, yeah, just, I, I really like how Rowan and Riley, and even, wow, well, excuse me, even Billy to an extent, like doing them at the same time, really, since they do require basically the same thing in two different areas, it allows time for other ghosts to respawn while you work on it, which really, really, it makes a big difference. And there goes the lag that I was talking about. It's, it is not really just because I'm streaming. It's more of just because I'm um, go similar as laggy and my PC's not super best. I mean, it's definitely not a bad PC, um, but go similar for whatever reason is really laggy, basically no matter what. So, um, just gonna have to deal with the lag until it goes away. My best rebirth time is just under two days. Yeah, I know people really, I know most people can't really sit down and just do a rebirth. Um, and I actually haven't really recently just sat down and done a rebirth all in one sitting. Um, so I, I know many people are going to take multiple days to do a rebirth. Like I think on my current one, I'm at five days now um, of time since my last rebirth. So um, I haven't been working too much on this, been playing a lot more casually than Sometimes I do, so. Um, hello. It's, it's, it's nice seeing new people in the live chat. Um, actually, it's nice just seeing people in general, not even, they don't even need to be new. It's just good to see people chatting, I guess. Um, not really grinding gum yet. I think this will take about an hour. I'm, it, it's been a, wh a while since I last did Ro Rowan and Riley. Um, so, not really sure how much time it'll take. It definitely does help doing them like this, where I do both of them at the same time. But still, they are longish quest lines, since they do need you to do quite a bit. Um, but... Yeah, there's not really a reason for me to be charging my battery. I'm not really doing ghosts that take too much out of it at the moment, but it's kind of a habit at this point whenever I click charge to go charge. Tw 
20 million gems? Yeah, I know getting gems isn't as difficult as you think when you start the game. Um, I know I know a lot of people are surprised that you get like 5 million gems, or which is quite a bit from just quests, um, which aren't too hard for most people to do, so that's pretty nice. Um, then I know like pets, pet, getting good pet stats isn't actually too difficult, even though some people... Um, like, getting Ghostly Vision pets isn't too hard. You can pretty easily trade for them if you have a decent amount of trading skills and knowledge on how to trade, but, um, yeah, it's, Ghost Similar is kind of, kind of weird like that, where most people are like, oh, getting a godly or something right when they join in the game. You, you see a lot of people, like, when you're in main hub in public servers, or at least I do, when I'm there, I see a lot of people like, Oh, how are you unboxing so many godlays? And it's just like gems are super cheap. And it's no way really for them to know that, but it's it's something that we all go through. Uh, do I have any tips on grinding? Um, I mean... It depends what, but mostly it's just to have like a goal, I guess, would be my main advice for grindings. Like, get get a certain amount or do a certain amount at a time, and not to like overextend too much. Um, like, do, don't go into a day, one day and be like, oh, today I'm going to go grind, get five cosmic wings from nothing. That's, you're going to be spending way too much time, so, um, and get burnt out quite quickly or frustrated that you can't. Um, so, s s setting realistic goals, I guess, is pretty good. Um, another thing, I guess, is understand what you're grinding and kind of grind efficiently. I, I mean, some, sometimes it's hard to know how to grind, but uh, you can ask other people on Discord, I know, is a good way to get advice on how to grind or what to grind. Um, Alright, we need one cat, and then we can go return to Rowan. We need to complete that obby, and then complete... That's Rowan's quest here. Alright, finding a flash drive. I guess we'll do that really quickly. But yeah, having a goal and a solid plan for what you're going to end up doing is helpful for figuring that out. Yeah, um, I closed Discord during streams since it does take a little bit of resources that uh, I don't It'll help streaming a little bit, not having Discord open at the same time. Um, so I do that. I'll probably check it afterwards, but at the moment I'm not really worried about checking Discord. Alright, we'll grab that, return to Riley. And then we'll probably be doing data stream, or the river thingy and the block right at the same time. Um... Yeah, I don't know, it's, there, there's a lot to grinding that, there's also a lot of stuff that you can grind in Ghost Simulator, so, ha having recommendations for that can kind of get weird. Um, Yeah, Rowan and Riley are one of the, like, probably probably really high on my tier of best NPCs since they are not too difficult to do and give really good perks. Um, I mean, this life I'm more, more or less, or this rebirth, I guess, I'm more or less doing every single quest that's helpful. Uh, I think I'm skipping Billy and that's about it. Like, I've already done Shelly for her ex extra pet slot, um, which I wouldn't recommend most people doing, but if you are planning on grinding and you have good enough stats to get use out of it, 
and that can be helpful, but yeah. Um, is there a reason I'm doing Riley so late? Uh, yes, I like to do Rowan and Riley at the same time, so that that requires me to go complete all of Backdoor before even starting into them. Um, and honestly, I haven't done much after that anyways, since all I've really done is done Blaze and then Agent Blaze and then a little bit of stuff in the Void and a final boss, which Riley really doesn't help much for, so there's no reason to do it before doing all that. Um, I mean, there's no reason to do it after compared to before, but um, the big thing is doing Rowan and Riley at the same time saves a lot of time overall. Um, hopefully I didn't teleport to the mushroom area last time. Um, I'm realizing I'm probably getting into some very inefficient um, patterns but of grind. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm not planning on rebirthing this life. Is the or what? What do you call it in Ghost Simulator? I, 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 most games call it a life, but uh, I don't. Doesn't quite feel right to call it a life in Ghost Simulator, so um, whatever. I'm not planning on rebirthing soon, so um, I'm doing all the perks just to help with the grinding that I'm planning on doing. Which is mainly going to be trying to get a Cosmic Wing or 3 or 5 or whatever um, I feel like getting once I start getting them. Um, since starting to get them is going to be the hard part, and after that it'll be figuring out how many I can actually get. All right, good luck with that. I know I know server hopping for bosses can get kind of tedious. Um, the big, I guess the big thing is um, if if you do end up like hopping like two or three times and end up in the same server is to. I know some other people do this. I don't usually, but uh, if you do end up joining the same server multiple times in a row, you can block someone in it, and they'll. Roblox will be like, oh, they're blocked, they, and they won't send you ever back to that server. So, yeah, you can do that. Hello! Yeah, no, I personally don't like blocking people like that since it is it is helpful, I guess, not being able to join the same server multiple times in a row like that. But same hand, it's kind of rude, I guess, in a sense, to just block someone randomly. Um, not that they'll ever really know, but um, it just feels like it'd be a pain to clean it out later. Yeah, getting get, sometimes sometimes getting the classified or any any board or pet you want can get be take a lot of time and be really satisfying once it happens. I know, I for me getting the being able to trade for like Ghost Server and some of those other purple boards was really nice. Um, Every time I get an egg drop, it's also really satisfying since um, that just means I'm closer to not having to worry about it ever again. Um, but yeah, yeah. Hopefully you get go hopefully you get lucky on that. As I said, getting those RNG of a classified from those can take way too long in some respects. Um, when you start into a new private server, the spawn rates are always going to be that same, so you're always going to be waiting that same amount of time for a boss. So, server hop in public servers is kind of the only way to really do it, unless you have people AFKing in those, um, like, alts or something AFKing in a private server, which time, obviously someone's in it, so it isn't going to start fresh each time. But if you, if it's like an empty private server that you're server hopping in, um, you're always going to get that same wait time for a boss, so you're going to have to do publics for it to be pretty effective. Let's 
instance, every time you join into a new server, like private servers are always new servers that you get into, they're going to have the same starting timer, which is completely maxed out, so not going to be able to grind like that at all. Yeah, it's like, it's it's quite a bit of time that is not really worth sticking in a server for. You're better off just sticking in the same server if you're server hopping in private servers. Um, but yeah, server hopping in um, public servers though is quite effective. It's not super good for Anonymous, but for Dino King it's perfect. Um, with like Anonymous, a lot of people are already doing the server hop for um, it, so... Uh, the chances are you'll get to server and the anonymous is defeated or something, so, um, not, not super, super helpful if the anonymous has already been being grinded like that, but for Dino King, no one really grinds Dino King, so you can pretty easily grind that one without any interference. I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I just started grinding ghosts. <clears throat> uh, I'm so hyped for the new Lauren zones. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't think many people are actually following the Lauren ghost similar. Like, I'm not really either. Um, so I, I'm more excited to see what the new zone will offer. Um, which I'm hoping isn't going to be, um, a letdown. But I could totally see it being a super small, not big deal zone that um, doesn't matter whatsoever for grinding, which would be kind of annoying, um, since I'm I I I want more to grind. Um, but um, complete an obby. I think we're going to go ahead and use a glitchy bunny gum. There we go. Go grab the ring in the mushroom area, which I think is just right here-ish. There we go. And then go grab the obby really quickly. Yeah, as I said, Riley and Rowan, and even Billy to an extent. Billy's a little bit harder. Um, but they line up really nicely. So you can just do all of them at the same time and not really lose like too much time. Um, since they overlap so much. So that's pretty good and if you already have like unlocked all the areas and stuff all of the unlocking quests just auto complete so you don't need to worry too much about those um i mean i personally yeah i don't know about that like, I don't, I don't feel like I put a lot of work into too much of my content, um, but, like, half of it's also, like, Ghost Simulator itself is kind of that, um, under, under, uh, valued, under, not enough people, like, know about it, so, like, by me covering it, it's more or less that same thing that's happening to whatever I make, but. Uh, let's see, what's the next one for Riley? Oop. Lag's not being very friendly right now. Um, yeah, honestly though, starting out new you on YouTube is kind of weird. Um, like, I know, I know, I kind of, I had a weird start. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I feel like YouTube's just kind of a weird platform. A lot of people try it, but not many people end up doing it or lasting forever or stuff like that so um i don't honestly i don't know if i'll continue making videos while from now either so um i'm more of just doing it as a hobby for now until something else um i'm going to, i think yeah okay 
I, I was about to say, I'm, I think the next one for me is going to be um, ghosts also in here, but I was, I don't, I don't, I, I know there's a few exceptions to like the following the same pattern for Riley and Rowan, so um, need to double check that. All right. Um, I don't know if they'll be having an Easter event this year. I, I would expect that they wouldn't, um, just based off my own personal um, thoughts. I, I don't think Ghost Simulator would be having too many more big events like they have had in the past. Um, but I don't really know. I, I'm not following Roblox events since they've been following those two since they did the Easter event, the egg hunt um, two years ago, and then the Metaverse event last year, but I don't think after their experience with the Metaverse that they'll be trying to do it again. Um, this year, if if Roblox ever even does something like that, which I don't think it will, um, but I don't, as I said, I don't really know, I'm not following that, but we'll, we'll get an event if, when we get an event, if that does happen, so. Um, even if I didn't know something though like that, I wouldn't be at liberty to share it most likely unless it came from a public source um, so if you guys you guys probably know more about it than I would in that respect yeah yeah I know I know a lot of events get players back into go simulator and then sometimes people also take hiatus but those those events can be bring in quite a few new players or returning players into Ghost Simulator quite a bit. Um, I personally didn't come into Ghost Simulator from an event, but I'm probably a small minority that joined just while I was not having one. Yeah, I, I joined after the first Dino and Space event, and then before the Halloween, though, since I, I, I was, during the first Halloween event, I was spending a lot of time grinding. I was trying to get myself a Darkwing, uh, which didn't quite pan out, um, which was kind of unfortunate since Darkwing now is probably the most valuable item in Ghost Simulator, and it would have been really cool to have that one. Um, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense. I wasn't, didn't have too much time, and it's, it was kind of a weird time, but yeah. It's kind of amazing though that you, that there are some people that have played that from that long ago that still play today. Um, I know, I know a lot of people for games they they join in like the middle of the game's development, like me or something, and they don't go back way too long, but they're like the main players at the time. Um, since being new to a game, you have a lot of lot more energy than someone who's been playing it for a long time does. Um, but. Yeah, I've, I originally played the game a lot for trading. I know for during the first like month, first like year or so, I was playing Ghost Simulator. I was all about trading, and that was mainly since I was coming from a MM2 background, where I was doing a lot of training in MM2 before I got really tired of how much duping and how little the developers cared about the economy or game whatsoever. Like it's super apparent that they don't care at all about either of those things, which just kind of pushed me away from it and then when I got into Ghost Simulator I'm like ooh cool trading stuff value um it was an interesting definitely a lot different trading back then uh and then kind of fell away from Ghost Simulator for like a little bit I think for like three or four months I wasn't really playing Ghost Simulator too much um I, I think people would still say I was playing it but I wasn't really uh doing too much in it um and then I kind of just got out of trading for a while since Values were so messed up since there's so many whales that just collected everything in the game, which really does throw off value. Use. Hello, kitty. So I guess my cat wanted to join the stream. Um, 
Let's see where we were at. I think we're going into here. You do realize I can't see my screen. I guess that's one good thing about having um, OBS running at the same time, since it's on the other screen. Um, even if she's blocking one of them, I can just look over at the other one. Yeah, I, I know I know a lot of people do get into games just for the trading, um, which is fine. I, having an economy in a game is really nice and fun. I, I know that experience from playing MM2 um, quite a bit, but like at the same time, the... The economy can go downhill super quickly. Okay, now you're just being... Now you're just getting in my way at purpose. There you go. Get, get on my lap. So you're out of the way. We'll, we'll see how long the cat stays on my lap and out of the way. Um, I, I don't... My cat's not really known for being the most organized yeah like if you aren't good at trading trading can be really annoying in games um i know a lot of people end up trying to trade and thinking they're getting good deals and just getting like shark down at everything they own um so if you aren't like if you aren't if you don't know how to trade or don't have any experience in a game uh not trading is by far the best strategy um since if you are trading Chances are someone that knows more than you about the game is just going to rip you off and steal all your good stuff, basically. Uh, which um, is far from... It's not nice, but it is... It happens basically constantly in games. Um, I think this is no okay there's like one more quest after this that where we need um ghosts i think so uh, i don't think that's all of rowan yeah we still need a few more of the normal ghosts but once 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 we are done with these quests we can go ahead and start grinding actual gum itself which will be kind of nice i think those were the i think those that was just the agent hq noon badges i think um, not actual quest. But, yeah. Alright, we need, like, ten more normal ghosts. Eight more normal ghosts, so we need about one more cycle of each area, and then we'll be done with all the quests. Or, at least these quests. I think there's one more that requires, like, ghosts from all the areas in all of them. Um, but it's, like, I think it's... It's not even a real noticeable amount of ghosts, so it'll be fine. Yeah, um... Getting a rift gum is can, is pretty rare, so uh, I don't expect I don't I don't really ever expect to get one. Um, I, I know I did get one before, um, but I ended up using that for testing out the gem multiplier, which I think was useful. Um, but at the same time, I I realize uh, someone actually reminded me later that I have access to the testing since I'm a tester for Ghost Simulator, where. Uh, which means I can go ahead and just savings off in there currently. That's in a public um, public pub public uh, patch notes, which is kind of weird. Um, but saving is off in the testing servers currently, so I could have just used that to save both having the glitchy rift gum and also still done the testing. So small oversight on my part, I guess. Yeah, um, they increased all the drops, um, the minimum and maximum drops in the back door by one on for each ghost, uh, which basically means almost all the drops are doubled. I know there are some like the some that aren't quite doubled, but uh, it, it's kind of broken for end game people and mid game people alike. Um, it's helped for mid game, but it's basically broken end game. Um, I, I get like sixteen drops plus whenever I get items. It's kind of kind of bad in that respect 
Yeah, as I was saying, this these quests are super easy for Riley and Rowan. Uh, I think Riley's a little bit more difficult, but still, it's nowhere near where Billy is. Um, I think Billy's like 40 rare ghosts, and they are both like 8 rare or 8 normal ghosts. So we'll go ahead and grab all of these ghosts, and then once we're done with this quest, I think, I think that's basically it for both of them. Yeah, um, I, I, I definitely said had an opinion and stated my opinion about not, um, or about doing a change to how like end game grinding works. Since currently, if I use a loot gum, I get way too many items. Um, I think it's possible for someone to get through all of backdoor in less than fifteen minutes currently, with using glitchy loot gum and double items drops. So. Um, yeah, it's not not very balanced. I my my opinion is that like endgame or double items is too overpowered and so it needs to be toned down a little bit. Um, but for some reason that hasn't happened yet, so I guess we just get to get like infinite loot gums for the time being. Uh, why can I see second arc stories? Um, they changed how the perk works so that instead of it you needing its own separate perk. Um, everyone who ever rebirths gets access to all the second arc NPCs, which kind of, which makes sense canonically and um, like for basically every reason I can think of, it makes sense to do it that way. Since um, canonically, like all this, all of the stuff that happened in second arc is happens when a player rebirths, like at all. So um, unlocking it with a perk doesn't really makes too much sense, but. Uh, so, it's kind of nice having it that way. That way people don't have to waste a solid rebirth on that and they can go for a different perk, but, yeah. Uh, they, they do an update every other week. So, um, next one will be in about a week's time from now. Um, that's been the schedule for the last, like, year or so. They changed from a every week schedule to every other week, which makes sense as they are starting to slow down and work on other games. Um, all right, we're going to go ahead and go through here to get all the ghosts we need for Ry Rowan. Almost said, almost said Ryan again. Um, mixing up those two names is actually not that difficult. Um, both start with an R and. Both well, are pretty much the same structure wise. Yeah, I don't I don't know why Rowan has only eight normal ghosts, whereas Riley has like eight rare ghosts and like Billy has like forty rare ghosts, so that 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 just always been weird to me that they're structured the same other than this last quest where they differ so much. Um, but yeah, ma makes run really easy to do once you get to this part. There we go. I think that's basically it for Rowan. Um, there may be one more, like, fine quest, uh, but it's basically done. Um, two times, I don't, they aren't, I don't hope. Let me try to rephrase that in a way that you guys can actually understand. I don't think they'll ever do another double luck event um, since they've added gums. They did it once and it was kind of broken endgame. Um, and then also, yeah, most of the double items they have are also not going to ever do again since that was also broken with the one time they did that. Um, But uh, they usually do those on update weeks, not just any, not just every Friday. Um, I don't think they've ever done a midweek event like that, so not really surprised that they didn't this time. Laggy, laggy, laggy. Okay. Right, um. Let's 
see, we need one more of these and then two more of the other two areas. So we'll grab all of these really quick. And looks like one did spawn, so we'll grab that out on our way out. Yeah, right. Riley and Rowan, they like their main main difficulty isn't too bad. Um, it's it's more Billy that's the hard one in backdoor. There you go, and then two of the rare ghosts from here. One. And then we should just be able to spam through the rest of Riley's quests. How can you play and enjoy the game at 5 FPS? Um, mainly it's not, it's like, as you can see right now, I'm, look at, I'm at around 40. Um, it's just randomly, for some reason, my CPU decides to not be um, very nice to me. I think overheating or something. It just doesn't doesn't like it randomly. Um, and so it's just crashes at some point. Um, but like that's the thing is, it's not all the time for me. Um, but yeah. Do, do I like penguins? That's an interesting question. I mean, animals are kind of cute. Uh, but yeah, I know for Ghost Simulator is quite laggy, like no matter what you're playing on. I know tons of people have problems with it. Um, I think there's, I think there's something to do with how they handle the code. Um, just, just by them making it really nice for the player, they're making it a lot laggier. Like, for instance, clicking on a ghost or something, um, I'm pretty sure they have to, like, client, um, have all the code for all the ghosts running on the client as well. Um, same with, like, during bosses. All the attacks are going to have to be running on your client, which just slows it down quite a bit. So, um, I think just, just with how they're making it nice for the player to be actually able to interact in a way that they find comfortable. They're making it super laggy for the player. Um, like, because if, it, if the ghosts weren't running on the client, it'd be much harder to interact with them easily and also a lot harder for, um, like, bosses. During bosses, one of the big things is if the client isn't actually running the boss attacks, um, the the player is un doesn't know exactly where the bosses can hit them and so it turns into this kind of a big problem where the boss can just randomly hit a player if the player isn't actually loading running the boss on their own device and if the boss is running on their device it's quite laggy so um, yeah it's just it's, it's pros and cons of uh, making it so that the players can actually like easily interact with stuff rather than just making it so that the client just runs everything and then yeah it's hard to explain what what's actually i don't know exactly what's going on but that's my best guess is that they're running a lot of stuff on the client to make it a much more client friendly which in turn causes the client to be super laggy there we go and now we're done with rowan 2 and we can get into grinding more fun pizza or penguins um i really like pizza I, it's really good and probably is mostly just because it's unhealthy but um yeah there's a cat on my lap she's kind of mm, nice now after after running all in front of my screen she, she she owes it to at least stay still for a little bit um but i've never really met a penguin outside of like a zoo and so I mean, obviously, <laughs> I don't live anywhere near where penguins do. Um, what are we doing? Oh, we're grinding gum. I just finished Rowan and Riley, so it's now time to grind gum, I guess. Um, so this is going to be kind of the cycle that I use for grinding gum. I know other people use different cycles, um, but basically, 
you start a gum and start grinding ghosts and try to get as many as many ghosts as possible in that mi in the minute cycle or the two minute cycles of the gum as possible um since it takes a minute for a ghost to respawn you go through as many areas as possible in a minute and then cycle back it's it's pretty much self-explanatory in a sense um like once once you understand what's going on you can see what it, what i'm doing um overcharging there since those are the ghosts that take the longest um and yeah just grab just grabbing as many ghosts as possible is the main thing about grinding gum looks like also the my fps is being really nice to me which i hope i don't jinx by making it crash soon um but yeah let's see there's probably something that i'm missing reading because i'm grinding i'll get around to it later um but i'm trying to focus a little bit more on this grind since some um, items are nice to have um once we grind this though i do realize i probably should go ahead and turn in all my items since I had a bit of items from just grinding through back door normally so I have quite a bit of stuff that needs to kind of get turned in if you're rebirthed for the first time what should your perk be um well if you haven't got any of like the master hunter grab like master hunter any of the permanent ones master hunters lucky eyes or um ghostly vision grab those Looks like, like, in theory, you, I should have been able to go through all the areas again, not have to stop there, but um, lagging a bit during the time down in the Agents HQ, so I couldn't quite, but you guys kind of understand the idea of it, hopefully. Um, but, yeah. Uh, what are you going to do when I get a uh, thousand subscribers? Um, I don't really have any plans for, like, milestones and stuff. I don't... I feel like I don't like making a big deal out of stuff like that since I don't think it's too big of a deal. Uh, maybe might do something for 1,000 though since that is when I can monetize. Um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll see as I get hit that mark. What if I have any plans? Um, I don't at the moment, but I maybe I should. It does seem like a big enough milestone that it, maybe I should. All right, um, this isn't going to be too much gum-wise, um, since I haven't really grinded too much, but uh, it be interesting to see how much I get. Uh, I know one of the big things is I'm starting to run a little bit lower on glitchy loot gum, like I'm under 500 at the moment when I was around like 900 a while ago, uh, mainly because I've been doing quite a bit of glitchy, glitchy loot gum giveaways, which I know, I know people really enjoy, but... Um, yeah, six, six, six glitchy loot gums, not super, super helpful, but, um, uh, yeah, I, re I, I somewhat remember that profile picture at least, um, but yeah, eat pizza with penguins, um, getting a penguin would be kind of difficult, I have a stuffed animal penguin somewhere, but I don't think you guys, or, I don't think one stuffed penguin will count as eating pizza with penguins, but I don't. I, I, I'm, as I said, I don't really have too many plans for uh, what to do at 1,000 subscriber milestone. Um, I don't think another Q&A stream would be a good idea. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. 1,000 blocks by HQ keys unlocking. Uh, yeah, I think I have four at the moment. So that I don't think is on the table at uh, let's see. Actually, I have 10. Yeah, it's not worth unboxing at the moment. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing another big Blocks by HQ unboxing. It takes a lot of time to get those keys. And the only reason I was able to get those 500 was because they had the broken double items event, which was it's almost as broken. It was a little bit more broken than what we currently have with the grinding items and backdoor. 
Um, when, our, when our FPS goes back up a little bit, we're going to start grinding again. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, I don't really have plans, honestly, for thousand. I, I f when it gets brought up, I feel like I should, but I just don't. All right, that looks like it's going to be as bad as high as I'm going to get FPS wise. So. Yeah, honestly though, my frames per second isn't much better when I'm just doing my own thing grinding wise, so uh, not too much of a surprise that it's this bad when I'm streaming. Um, we're going to go ahead and probably hopefully grind at least 20 or at least 20 minutes. Um, I mean, probably 30 minutes would be ideal. Um, I also want to go ahead and, now that I am max, go ahead and test out some of my, how much Ecto tokens I get per cell in the main hub. Um, since that's one of the big things I've been working on Rebirth for, is getting my Ecto token tycoon up quite a bit. So, um, we'll see about that. Um, other thing. Yeah, if we get enough gems per... Um, I may ha may be able to just go ahead and go straight into unboxing, um, like, just go ahead and grind gems through the Ecto Token Tycoon for getting the Cosmic Wing, but that does, grinding, grinding gems through, like, Tycoons does actually take a while, it's just since converters are so bad, um, so, uh, that wouldn't be ideal. I, it's, and it, I mean... It is really nice since it is like sustainable that way rather than having to rely on like gum and good. Looks like we're going to end up with that same cycle as before where I'm not able to actually get out of the blocks by date chew once I've overcharged since um, with this much lag you can't really do the efficient um, jetpack up out. Uh, you have to just go climb the ladder which is kind of slow. Um, but yeah. Gem ship, yeah, gem ship's actually really cool. Um, I don't actually think I have one at the moment, but it's definitely one of the cooler classifieds. Um, mostly because it's purple, uh, but also a little bit because it's kind of rare to get and yet still undervalued. So it's easy enough to trade for in a sense. Um, hard and hard to get, but still, still quite rare to have. Um, yeah, getting getting classifieds like that is really cool. Um, I know the few the few classifieds I've unboxed have been kind of crazy to get, uh, mainly because I got really lucky with the amount of credits I only had to spend. Um, for instance, like Glowjet and Varus, I didn't even fill up my inventory like twice before I got both of those. When I was just like joking around in someone else's server since they were trying to go for a classified, and I decided to open the same crate as them and ended up getting lucky. Um, yeah, that's about the correct range. Range. I am. I am barely an adult at this point, but yeah. Um, oops, overcharged on accident. You know what? Grinding gum isn't being super effective, and I guess I can do that anytime. Um, you guys kind of got this idea for the route, I hope. Um, I hope you guys got the route from the few times I did it. Um, basically, you do that over and over and over again. Hopefully, ideally getting two full cycles in your the two minutes of the gum. And then that basically sets you up to be able to charge um, because your battery is basically empty once you're done with that. And you just get like quite a bit of gums back. Um, ideally, I wouldn't be lagging this much and be able to do all that grinding like perfectly. But I think at this point, I do want to go ahead and hop over to a private server really quickly, or no, public server, um, and see how much Ecto tokens I get from a single boss. So we're going to go ahead, black screen for a little bit, and then we'll be in the public main hub server. There's the black screen. And any second now. Go. 
Um, I try to avoid trading as much as possible, mainly because, one, if I do do a good trade, that's meaning someone else did a bad trade, which is, I, I, I don't feel comfortable making someone else do a bad trade. And if I'm doing a bad trade, there's no real reason for me to do it. And so it's kind of like, either I trade very even, uh, which is kind of, is fine, um, but really hard to do with how little I know values, um, or I do a really good trade, which kind of rude on my part, or I do a really bad trade, which there's no reason for me to do. So I, I usually just stick to not trading as much as possible. Um, uh, I can't really trade Sky Server at the moment. Um, someone's wanted in a giveaway and still needs to claim it at some point. Um, and yeah, it would be super underpay for a gem ship in my opinion, so I wouldn't really be comfortable doing that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, though and head over and grab this um, Dino King. We are still lagging quite a bit, which um, kind of makes sense, I guess. Honestly, though, the lag and ghost similar is kind of ridiculous in some respects. Um, it's mostly how, how it's structured, I'd guess, code-wise, to be nice for the player so that they can interact easily with stuff, but at the same time, it's not fun lagging all the time. Um, yeah, we're going to go, go ahead and be using a glitchy x gum on this boss, too, uh, and just see how much gems I get worth of Acto tokens. Um, I'm, I haven't done this before, or I've done five rebirths since for Acto token tycoons since I've last done a cell, so it'll be interesting to see how, just how much, um, gem, ooh, a race. I do want to do races. Um, just see how much gems I get per cell. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be something like six or seven million gems per cell, um, but it could be higher than that. Um, uh, which I'm currently, I'm seeing how much Acto tokens I get per cell, um, from a boss in the main hub. Um, I think we should probably go ahead and convert all the Acto tokens I have right now so we can start from a clean straight slate. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll. We'll be doing the Dino King over in the... That area. Um, I was planning on doing some... I, I'll probably get back to gum grinding after this. Um, but it, it's kind of laggy with how much... And I, I think it'll probably get boring after like 10 or 10... Like 5 or 10 times going through that cycle, so... Um, I figured doing a small break for this will be kind of nice. Um, yeah, it doesn't take too much to convert, but what you have to remember is that this conversion is from like one boss worth of Ecto tokens, so uh, having to do this for every boss you do is get, get really, really bad, really annoying really quickly. I know a lot of endgame people get more than me too, so um, converters definitely need a change. Um, I think the I think the best idea is, or at least my favorite idea for how to do that would be to add a, um, excuse me, add a um, converter to the void, which void is kind of empty right now. So adding a converter to the void for like every single currency to convert it instantly all into gems really makes sense in a way, since the void is all about gems. So it makes sense to have a all in one gem converter there, ish, and it will be help super helpful for rebirths and also really helpful for people grinding. Um, you can even make like the rates there a little bit worse than what they are in all the worlds to just make up for that convenience in a way, um, which I think would be kind of cool to have. You can either go through slightly slower uh, at a little bit reduced or a little bit better rate for like new players so they aren't getting completely like, oh, this is useless. Um, but 
and then still have that end game where like, oh, I can go ahead and instantly do it and save quite a bit of time. Um, can I use, can't use an auto clicker? Yes, you can. Um, but it, since the rate is limited for converters currently, you're going to have to wait for like hours or days at a time to convert all your currencies. I know someone was like, someone, someone, end game grinders, I'm nowhere near this point, or have done it like, have to grind for 24 hours or whatnot just to convert like six or seven hours worth of boss grinding into gems, which I think we can all agree is a little absurd. Um, I got 74 loot, lucky loot bags. I don't know if I should open them all. Um, there's not really any reason to save lucky loot bags. They're pretty much worthless. They don't combine well with gem boosts. So, um, might as well just open them. Alright, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and use a glitchy X gum right there, I think. And then we're going to go ahead and sell. Um, and we get... S that's a lot. That's, that was a lot more than I was actually really expecting. That's around... That's, that's around 6 million gems worth of Ecto tokens per cell. Like, and you can get quite a bit of cells in an hour. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go go make sure that that is actually six million, not some other random number. But I think well, I think that's basically six million worth of, which, which is a lot. I, I I know I've said that before, but it's not super a lot like that's not enough as some people who have dev classifieds full teams probably get like 500 million per cell just off the top of my head based off how much they've grinded rebirth wise um but still i, th I think that's enough for with one cell to get a rain wave i think I mean, time-wise, though, you're putting in a lot of time to unbox the classified like that, but still. Just just one cell to get a rain wave is still kind of a crazy way to phrase it. Is Ghost Hunter Joven worth your time? Um, yes, that extra pet storage is super helpful. Looks like there we just crossed over that 6 million mark. Um, so it's actually a little bit closer to 6.5 million. Um, which is a big difference, I guess, but... Still, still, still quite a bit of gems per cell. Um, I think at that rate, we're getting, we're need to about three to get up to 20, 50 more, five more. We need about 150 cells of bosses to get a 1 billion gems, which is a decent amount. No, only 15. Is it 15 or 150? I think it's 150. Uh, 15 sounds just way too little. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's it's quite a bit of gems I'm getting. Um, yeah. Ghost Hunter Joven's worth your time. I wouldn't recommend working on him until like, later. Uh, but I guess since right now you can trade for like the index for his last quest, which is the main difficult one, you may want to just do them right now and find someone to trade for a free starlight or something. I know there's actually, I actually have spare starlights I'd be willing to give people for free if they need it for the quest. Um, but yeah, it's, it's actually, it is one of the better quest lines since you do get it infinite or not infinite. You get additional pet slots forever, um, and the quest doesn't reset during a rebirth, so you might as well do it earlier. Um, but yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and one more boss, or do we just go back to? I think we'll do one more boss here, and then go ahead and back to a private server, um, and go back to grinding gems, I guess, or gums. Um, is there any point in saving Jolly Roger loot bags? 
Uh, yes, actually, Jolly Rogers do stack quite nicely with um, Rift Gum. So if you want to, you can open those with the Rift Gum to get quite a bit of gems. So feel free to save those. Um, people are willing to trade for mass amounts of them too. So if you don't want to get like a Rift Gum yourself, you can always trade them for a decent amount. Um, uh, the current hardest board to get in the game would be Chroma Float from the Void classified. It's a classified in the Void. Um, I think... Actually, Light Warp may, may give it a run for its money. Grim's Portal may be also up there, but I'd say Chroma Float's the hardest one to get. Um, Light Warp. Light Warp from the race loot bags would be a decent competitor, though. Uh, it'd be this classified would be the only other one that might be more difficult than the chroma float to get but one of those two is going to be the hardest to get that's always obtainable um there's always the event ones like the youtuber board and darkwing which are also worth which are worth a ton but they're also limited and so balance out and aren't really included uh, as i said i don't really do milestones with what i hit when i hit certain stuff like that, I might do something for 1k, but I haven't really thought about it too much, um, so we'll see. I, I would guess I wouldn't do something for 1k, even though that's a huge milestone, um, since that's when I can monetize, it's a very good round number, um, and, but we'll see. Um, one of the big things that I, I realize I probably should be saying a little bit more of, um, I'm putting on, I, uh, never mind, um, the, the one person who has it so far won't be missing too much out. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, Dino King isn't worth saving. The It just gives a lot less gems. Um, like, let's just open two of these. You can see that's about 13,000 gems. Uh, whereas if I open a Dino King, 3,000 gems, so... Um, Dino King isn't as worthwhile as like Jolly Roger um, or even Anonymous is super worthwhile and that's the one I usually that's the one I'm aiming to gather a lot of um, but yeah yeah no I'm not going to reach 1 million subs so it's not worth like trying to figure out some for that yet um, oh, I'm not going to open all my chests I may open a little bit this time but uh, that was more of just for um just to show you guys what the difference between those two is, which is kind of massive. Um, we are using glitchy X gum, so we're going to go ahead and sell. It's it's super weird. I'm I'm used to when I'm re doing rebirths, I don't go for like magnetism. I don't go for Leo's heavy armor. So it's super weird just being able to be super lazy during bosses. Um, I'm not used to it super much, so um, so it's nice. Nice being able to do bosses without actually having to do anything, in a way. One million blocks by HQ keys unboxing, obviously. Yeah, I think that 500 is was about the maximum I'd ever get to. Um, I, I, I don't. I don't know if I could ever grind for more than that, but I, that was combined with I was had I had tons of time. I was really dedicated to go similar at that time, so um, it was easy for me to spend like that seven hours in a row to just grind mini final during the doubled items drop. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to do that again. Um, like I have currently like 50 or so glitchy boss gums, and I don't think I'll ever end up getting to use them just since I don't have okay 34. Uh, it's close enough to 50 it's not really but um it, it's i don't think i'll ever be a, get the time to use them so they're just going to kind of sit there i may end up trading them for something good but honestly trading boss gum at this point is kind of meh just because so many it's so easy to get for most people there's and so hard and kind of hard to use efficiently um that it's not really worth getting for um Yeah, that's the thing. Subscribe YouTube is such a weird platform. Um, like it either something will take 
will happen like this or it takes forever to get to um and with the way i i think i i don't know i'm not super good at hyping stuff up um and i'm very focused on ghost similar which is a low um low hype games so not many people actually play it um so it's not very likely for me to actually become super popular anytime soon so um which actually i'm fine with i kind of like not having that much pressure of being super popular um i don't need to worry too much about making sh content every regularly um or making it super high quality since not too many people are subscribed um i mean i try my best to make sure it is good quality but i don't worry so much about like oh I don't, I don't want to make a, I don't be like, oh, I need to make a video and it needs to be this high quality. I can be like, ah, slow quality video is fine for the week or something like that. And it works out fine enough. Um, all right, we're going to go ahead and hop over back to grinding some gum in my private server. Um, so. their black screen for a while while everything loads up. Oh, remind me about boss chests. I do, I do think I have like odd numbers about some of them. I don't like having odd numbers. So we're going to do a quick scan to make sure I do only have even numbers of some of the um, boss chests. It's only a few that actually... Yeah, okay. Well, bless boss chests. Ooh, we managed to get a crate key. Um, but yeah, I don't like having odd numbers since I do get only even numbers from having the game pass. Uh, so if I do see odd numbers, I do try to just open one. Oh, uh, yeah, Gosim, Gosim is super laggy and does, does overheat my PC, it does feel like. Hot, hot, hot. It's, it's not super bad since my computer does decide to cool itself down by lowering the CPU usage, but at the same time, it does use a lot of stuff, which is kind of annoying. Um... Can I trade gem ship for them? I'm assuming you're talking about the boss gums I was talking about a while ago. As I said, I don't really like trading. Um, and honestly, honestly, I may end up using them in the future, so there's no reason for me to get rid of them. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Uh, I think I'll try to do like 10 or so glitchy loot gums, hopefully. Like, w with how laggy it is, it's kind of hard to get a consistent grind going um i know i know i've done this before for streams and it's usually better than what it is right now um but yeah we'll see Uh, do I like answering questions? Um, it does give me something to do, so in that respect, yeah. Um, sometimes the questions can be a little bit weird. Uh, in that case, no. But usually if, they, if they're if they weird enough that I don't want to answer them, I just won't. Um, but yeah, it's... Oh, look at that. We're, ha we're having like 30 FPS. That's perfect. Yeah, I usually like to stream. Uh, most of my recordings and streamings are at like 30 FPS since I want it just a little bit so I'm not pushing it computer wise. Um, but which means making it a goal of getting like 60 FPS. Never really a dream or even like a possibility um, for my streams, which hopefully you guys don't 
notice the lack of quality there, but um, you probably do. Um, one of the things is though, I'm not really ever planning on playing first person shooter games, so um, I don't care too much about my frames. Yeah, in general, in general, I'm not really good at quick, fast-paced games, so... Yeah, it looks like with the lag, we aren't going to be able to get any more than, like, one and a half cycles of what I usually get. Um, so... I usually, usually am able to get two full cycles in my, um, uh, glitchy gum, but looks like with the lag we're getting right now, it's not going to be any more than the one and a half that I'm getting, which doesn't actually do too much problems wise. Ten seconds. I don't think it will take ten seconds unless you have um unless you're abusing some sort of glitch which is um bannable. Which I'm not going to get into too much detail right now. Um, except to say that we've had experiences where, yes, um, there have been glitches where people could get a lot of keys really quickly, and I know there's at least one person that abused that, um, and I don't know if they got banned or not, but it, it was a bad glitch and not something that anyone would really easily get away with since... But, yeah. Uh, what am I doing right now? Currently, I'm grinding gum. Um, for some reason, well, it's also lagging quite a bit, so we're not getting, like, the full efficiency. Um, but I I've been kind of running a little bit lower on the gums recently from all the reapers and mostly giveaways that I've been doing. Um, so, um, getting a little bit more supply from that on stream. Um, early in the stream, though, I did go ahead and test out, like, some other things, like how much gems I get per cell in the main hub, which was quite a ridiculous amount. Um, and then also, like... Completing the Ronin and Rally for my current rebirth, so I have their perks. Whereas another thing I've done this stream. Um, oh no, it's not, it's not a super focused grind stream, so if you do have questions, I'll be trying to answer those. Yeah, on those lows of FPS, you can't, you can't do like any of the jetpack stuff that I normally do to get up that ladder quickly, so... Kind of, kind of, an, kind of annoying sometimes to have lag. I don't think the over... Overcharge isn't working. That's rude. Nope, no error there. That was weird. It, like, just wasn't working.
Yeah, for some reason, I think the lag's messing with the PC or something since it isn't. Since the overcharge isn't being like super cooperative. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know how much more gum grinding I'll be doing at this rate. Um, I'm trying to think if there's like another alternative. Um, I guess actually. There, there's a pretty easy alternative that I think we'll go ahead and do. Um, is go and go ahead and finish up the stuff in the void. Um, I've started a little bit into the void, but I think going ahead and finishing that up will probably be a little bit more entertaining than grinding gum at this low of efficiency sense of, because of lag. Um, so we'll go ahead and just convert all this that we have right now. Um, it's still, this is still a ridiculous amount of items for grinding at that low of efficiency for that little bit of time. Gum grinding is pretty much broken in backdoor currently because of just because of the latest update they added more drops to all the ghosts which is super helpful for the people that don't have like game passes but pretty much breaks the game for people like me who do have the game passes so we'll go ahead and finish up that and then just insert all those items um 17 glitchy loot gum so that was that was pretty profitable um and one glitchy boss gum. Um, but we'll go ahead and head over to Void and finish up all the NPCs here. Um, trying to think. Yeah, we have we have four more to do NPC wise, and then we can just defeat the boss and then go back and turn in all the um, quests for all the other NPCs, which may take a little bit of time, but whatever. All right, well, I think we're going over here yet next, the yellow one. Yeah, we're lagging a little bit, so stuff is being a little bit slower on my computer, which can get kind of weird. Yeah, it's um, it, it's weird how it's always weird how the ghost similar can go from being really laggy to really normal. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's my computer's fault for how it's handling like the um, lag and CPU usage. But still, it's kind of weird to just experience a super big lag spike and then be perfectly fine in the next second. All right, next we need to grab some gems. And now we need to go through a ring. Yeah, the music in Ghost Simulator is really awesome. Um, I know, I know, Beast like the composer of it, is probably decent. Uh, I, I don't know much other than his his stuff in Ghost Simulator, but the music is fire in Ghost Simulator, so I'd expect him to be a really good at composing stuff like this. Um, but I, I know he was commissioned to make it, so that's that's a pretty good indication that he has good experience and really knows how to make music. Um, so yeah, it's it's really nice having having all these soundtracks in Ghost Simulator. All right, we're going to go ahead and go through these quests while we're waiting for Ghost to respawn. Um, lag's not being very friendly right now, but fortunately, Ghost I don't think are dependent on the lag of my 
machine for spawning. I think they're server things, so... Or, well, I'd rather I'd kind of know that they're server things since everyone sees the same ghosts. Yeah, I don't know what it is about having really laggy that makes... It's so obvious when you are lagging a lot just based off your movements, but I don't know what exactly, like... It isn't that everything's just slightly slower, it's more of like... The acceleration is different or something. Like, you just move just in that weird way that it's easy to tell that you're lagging. Um, but... Yeah. Um, currently I'm at 15 rebirth, so I just barely was able to, um, get all of the- That was kind of my plan for a while before they even added the new, um, rebirth unlockables. So, it kind of panned out really nicely being able to finish up how many I wanted and then also grab all those unlockables at the same time. So, um, I'm planning on chilling at this current rebirth for a while. Um, grind up some cosmic wings, grind up some, um... Anything else I'm missing? I think I think it's mainly going to be a cosmic wing or three, um, and then also maybe maybe a little bit more gum too. We'll see. We'll definitely definitely will be doing some gum grinding. I just don't know if that'll be a main focus of my current rebirth. Um, Pico burr. Okay, green next. Um, but yeah, um, it's. I'll be spending a little bit of time grinding on my current life for some stuff. Um, don't know exactly everything that I intend to do, but we'll be getting some stuff done. Alright. Back to Mackie. Back some ghosts. Back in 15 ghosts. Oop. Waiting for the lag to go away. Uh, I can I can hear like the backup sounds of something like just trying to trying to work itself, but going super slowly. Uh, just machinery just goes super slowly when it's backing up, but you know, it's using the same engine as when it's going forward. But whatever. Um, un unbox wormhole from the Grim Reaper bag. I don't know how you got a f wormhole from the Grim Reaper bag. That's not. I'm trying to. I'm trying to understand, but that's not how that bag works. Uh, and we have a cat now, also interfering. Um, but. And I mean, honestly, though, most of the 
times when people are getting stuff out of bags like that, it's going to be in that short amount of time because a lot more people are unboxing small amounts of those bags than they are unboxing a lot. And they're a lot more likely to say that, oh, I unboxed this. I unboxed, there's a lot more likely to say, oh, I got really lucky and unboxed it in a low amount than if they go through like 5,000. They're like, oh yeah, I got one or two. It's not really that important if you run through that many. Um, whereas if you're only unboxing a few, you're a lot more likely to report it. So it's not super rare. Oop. You do, you do realize like perfectly in my way, Jazzy? Capped, by the way. Name's Jazzy. There you go. We'll move that out of the way so you can sit down over there and only be like half in the way. That's the perfect spot for you. You're like out of the way, but you're also still close enough to feel like you are in the way. That's, and that's not a perfect spot for you. That's like right in the way. She's a good kitty. She just doesn't have anyone else to go bother right now. So. She keeps me company. Yeah, my dog, uh, I have a dog too. She just kind of sleeps all day. I think they kind of like switch spots since my cat seems to be really good at wandering around the house and just like being up constantly, whereas my dog just kind of sleeps all day half the time. Um, maybe that is just because she can't really do too much inside the house, but whereas cats can, are better at doing stuff, I don't know. But it's just weird to have the dog just sleeping very nice and peacefully while the cat is just running around the house doing who knows what in the middle of the day. Um, there is not going to be an update for Ghost Summer for another week, so um, they have a two update week. They have a two week update cycle, so every other week they'll have an update to Ghost Simulator. Um, that's been their pattern for the last um, year or over, maybe over a year. Um, so don't expect anything new, like, today. Um, if there was going to be an update, like, if this was an update week, it would have been today in, like, the next, like, hour, I think. Uh, what, actually, what time is it currently? Yeah, in the next two hours, they would have had the update-ish. Probably, probably, cl probably closer to two and a half hours. Um, but that, that's when their general update time would be, so... About a week from now, we'll be getting another update. Um, although talking about updates, we do have like a lot of stuff that I do need to cover on the most recent update. But like lore-wise, I don't know how to cover lore and go simulator. It's it's not my it's not my expertise, and it would help if I actually like was following lore like from the beginning and understood how to like present it to you guys. But. I, I don't know if lore though in Ghost Simulator, it's one of the big things that the developers care about. I don't know if it's one of the things that though that the um, um, people playing Ghost Simulator care about though, so. <laughs> They've been putting a lot of time into that lore, but, and then not many people have been caring to read it. Yes, you are a good kitty. Very good soft kitty. That's 
very lovable. Except when you go and scratch all the furniture. Hello. Um, there we go. About halfway through Void now. Uh, we're, we're taking a little bit more time than usually people do when they go through the Void. I am a bit distracted with this little kitty that's decided to come terrorize me. Oh, we need to go find the remnant for Mackie. Forgot about that. So, we'll go ahead, hopefully, quickly go grab that remnant. Should be right around here. I think my cat's doing this bothering on purpose. Like, she never, she's never this bothers me this much. So. Uh. I know. Um, yeah, I, I, this is probably not the most interesting thing to be doing this stream, but who cares? I don't. And since I get, I get full control over what exactly gets, goes on in this stream, it, doesn't matter. Yeah, um, RNG for Lucky Cats is really nice. They are really good stats, so they are kind of easy to get for how good stats they are. Um, but like, you can you can open a lot of something and still get nothing from it. Um, Although it is kind of kind of annoying when you do open that many and you don't get something like that hoverboard. The hoverboard's also not too useful, like trading wise, it's basically zero value um, for any trading. Um, I, although it is kind of a rip. Hello, oh, hello Victor. Um, welcome to the stream. We've been doing a little bit off um, script for this stream. Um, I was planning on just doing grinding loot or grinding for some more gum, um, but I decided against that when it became like too laggy to actually do that efficiently. Uh, you're late? Uh, not really. Honestly, streams are one of those things where it's like doesn't really matter when you catch it. In in some respects, since it is kind of a longer one and not much is really changes between one time or another catching it. Um, All right. What do you hear? Cat decided to leave. Finally, so no, no more have, no more having a cat bother us. Although it may be a sign that the dog's coming. I don't know. For me, it's just to have more game completion, to be honest. Yeah, I know a lot of people do care about game completion. Um, it is like kind of the only metric that people have for how much uh, of the game they've completed. Um, but for me personally, I know like I know tons of people who have over that hundred percent complete. Or it's game completion has been so broken throughout Ghost Simulator. Like I know currently you can get over hundred percent. It used to be that you could server hop between like backdoor and main hub and you'd gain like five or 10 or 20% each time. And so you could just have infinite percent. Um, so I don't give too much um, weight to that completion percent, but I know some people that, I know since it is one of the only variables, um, that it is one thing that some people care a lot about. Uh, my day's actually doing pretty nicely. Uh, I usually stream early in the day, so it is still kind of early morning for me. Uh, Early morning. It's around, it's around noon for me, I guess. So not too much of my day has actually been spent so far. Um, whoa, what was that? Oh wait, that was just some backward text. Um, nothing 
I don't think. I, it, all, all the dialogue in Void has been sh scraped over so many times at this point, so it's not really worth reading anymore. Um, I, honestly, not many people read a lot of the dialogue anyways, so um, it's not too important. Other than the fact that the devs hid, like, our relationship, like, that Rowan and Riley, or Rowan and Riley, Rowan and Yoko were brothers in there, but that was, like, the biggest thing about it. Yeah, ghosts in the void are kind of weird. I, I don't really, I don't really ever really notice it, but like the fact that they're so low health is kind of weird. Um. We need like two or three more ghosts, so we'll go ahead and grab these and we'll probably complete. All right, just one, but here we go. Now we need to go find the thing and then we'll be good. go one more then we can go ahead and defeat the boss and complete all the quests and then not turn them in uh, since turning turning in all these quests is a huge pain for um, doing after feeding the boss um, I did hear that the, the maze was kind of or I've done the maze before uh, on my previous rebirth but like the maze has been nerfed so it isn't too difficult to do we'll be able to do it very quick amount of time. Yeah, it does feel a little bit empty. Um, I mean, I think it's kind of supposed to feel that way. Uh, like, it is, void does kind of mean something that's empty, so having more in it kind of defeats the purpose of the name. Um, but like, one of the things that I feel like could get really easily added to void that'd be super helpful would be like an all-in-one converter that converts all the currencies uh, from main hub, backdoor, ghost world, all into gems at the same time, which fits the gem theme of the void, and also super helpful for rebirthing, super helpful for endgame players, basically needed basically agreed upon that it's needed by all players uh which i think would be super cool um i mean it isn't much but it would add at least something for the void but yeah i agree with you it's kind of kind of is empty i don't know if, how much of that is intended versus just they haven't got around to filling it um but w with the with the second arc going on i don't think they ever are really planning on filling too much more of it Four glitchy zoom gum, that's super helpful, I think. Yeah, some some of the quest rewards can just be really weird. One more, there it is. Okay, 
can't quite reach that one to grab the gems that I need before. Alright, and then once we finish up these, we can go ahead and turn in... Unlock the, the um, boss area and then go quickly do the maze and defeat the boss. And I think that'll probably be the end of the stream. Um, I know I know I didn't really do any gum grinding despite the... Um, kind of the whole point of the stream was to do some gum grinding. I did a little bit during the middle part of it, so... Um, you are interested in that you can go find it there but yeah it, i realized that quickly with the amount of lag i was having gum grinding was not super effective um so i'll probably end up doing some gum grinding just by myself passively um or maybe not we'll see uh, may end up just being like and eh, not worth doing and end up not doing anything yeah we need like five or five or so more of these ghosts and then we can turn in this one yeah your inventory you just get your journal gets really full of random quests when you're in the void there we go grab these and there you go find the remnant and we'll be done all right I was sort of debating about doing like ro uh, the new second arc NPCs in this um, stream, uh, but I decided against that since I don't know how much. I feel like doing second arc in the stream isn't really effective. I don't know how many people actually enjoy that um, versus just making its own video and also like in general. In general, lore doesn't feel like a super big thing and goes similar for me, so I don't end up doing too much of it. Um, but yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and complete this thing really quick. It got, kind of got changed, so now all you need to do is find like each of the levers once, which is much, much easier. So we should be able to really easily skim through even with this hoverboard that is too big to really do anything effectively. Yeah, Santa Santa Slay is not the best hoverboard for uh, grinding in in most respects. All right, um, lag 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 lag. There we go. Now we should be able to go turn in for the stuff. Yeah, um, I'm I've been really been following Beesmus, but I realized when like this the Beesmus quest line for um the like the Beesmus part two for like the Bubble Bee Man wasn't out. Within like the two, the three weeks that I was giving it, since the quest said one or two weeks, it was probably going to be out in three weeks. Um, since it wasn't out at that point, it the update was going to be in shambles soon. So I uh, was not surprised that Beast Worm Sim ended up not working out th with their second one. Um, I mean, in general though, Beast Worm Sim is super complicated, so updates like that have to be really well vetted for them to really make sense and so devs are doing a lot of work on it um anyways we're gonna go ahead and do this and then we'll have um about two million quests to turn in that i won't do right at the moment and then 
I think that'll be it for the stream. I mean, I could go ahead and do Fern. Maybe. Um, I guess, I guess we'll check the time. But I think a two-hour stream will probably be fine. Yeah, we'll call it, we'll call it a two-hour stream fine. Um, maybe do a little bit more for Fern. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know. The stream, stream does feel a little bit short, but it also doesn't feel like there's too much going on or that I have too much content left to do in the stream, so, um... Hey, look, it's a normal size shield for once. Because bow didn't grow for some reason. wonder if we have an F9 error. Nope, no F9 error. Just just bow being weird and not growing. It's weird seeing a tiny bow. Like bow's supposed to be huge. Uh yeah, it's just one of those weird things that happens when you're lagging in Ghost Simulator, you end up not s s some part gets skipped and it doesn't load correctly. Don't think it's too big of a deal. Alright, we should actually be like trying to avoid stuff I realize, otherwise we'll end up like dying just because we aren't paying attention to how much damage we're taking. Um. Yeah, honestly though, bow boss is not too difficult. don't even really need a move to defeat him. Um, do you think the quest rewards should stack with multipliers and the bonus gem rebirth? Uh, I don't actually think that. I think, I think quests are fine how they're structured currently. Um, if anything, I think stuff should stack differently, like loot, loot drops. Uh, loot drops are kind of overpowered if you have double items. Um, so I think those should be toned down a small smidgen. Um, with how they stack, but I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I think quests are fine how they are. I, I like how the, I like seeing how bad the webcam quality is. I'm just using the webcam on my computer, so it's not super high quality. And you can see how grainy it is probably on the stream. So. There we go. We're going to go ahead and complete that. Uh, we could go turn in for all these quests and stuff. But. Nah. I'll do that later. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and hop over to Maid Hub and do those stuff for Fern. Um, see how far we can get into Fern before I hit like a... Um, hit a difficult quest like bosses or something that I just don't want to do in the stream. Um, since right now, since I did complete Riley these for the jetpack, the obbies will be quite easy. Um, if I remember correctly, it's junkyard and the mine. Um, we're going to go ahead and track that. Yeah, I don't think I'll be playing too much. I haven't really played too much V-Storm Sim in the last month, and I don't think I will anytime s soon. Um, so, uh, d do not hold your breath for me play doing a stream on it either. Um, uh, no, I'm just doing one of her quests that is in main hub, not going go. I've already done a few of her quests, so I'll take a little bit of time for the cooldown for allow me to click this new one. There's a cooldown between like collecting items, so that's kind of why we it isn't registering as we click like right now. Um, it's like it's like 30 seconds or something between being able to collect like finishing obbies, collecting 
find items and stuff. It's kind of annoying, and I know it's one of those obscure things that not many people know about. Um, so just, just something that I'd like, I want you guys to know. Um, I, I think the biggest, biggest, um, issue that I see with this, that one, um, with the cooldown is going to be the one, one of Fern's later quests, which I don't know if we'll actually end up getting to, um, but where you need to, like, collect the teapot or the ring, since they're stacked on the same spot, when you're trying to collect one, it collects the other one, and then you have to wait 30 seconds or something before you can collect either one of them again, and then you end up collecting the first one. Oh, it, it, there's a question right now in the QA channel. Did, did I quit Beast Worm Sim? Uh, yes. No. Mostly yes. Um, but yeah. It's kind of... I, I always forget how nice it is having all the perks from... Um, from the game like having heavy armor is like those that big one where it's like ooh I don't have it so I have to now pay attention on bosses but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and unbox I guess really quickly one of the one of the things I don't like really too much is having to clean out my inventory every once in a while uh, it just gets super cluttered I feel like um, with all the random pets and boards I get from rebirthing. So being able to finally not have to do any more of these unboxing quests, have a clean inventory for once, is going to be nice. Um, I guess I should have probably also work on my alt a little bit so it has the storage upgrades too. Uh, it d currently does not have Bovin or Joven complete, which kind of, kind of is annoying. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that item really quick so I set my cooldown a little bit. Um, that way it doesn't register the ring the second I jump here, which means I can go on top of the teapot and it'll take just a little less time for it to count. Um, but yeah, that's one of the things I've noticed is that cooldown is super annoying sometimes, but since there is an item right here, you can start the cooldown prematurely um, and then easily oh wait I have jetpack I can just do that <laughs> I'm so not used to having the jetpack for doing the obbies all right this next one looks like it's going to be a ghost one so that's kind of nice um, I think the worst I think the worst quests for um, fern are going to be those leveling up pets since you just have to Sort around your inventory a little bit to get out pets to level. Uh, how did I get so many crate keys? I think I actually answered this one earlier in the stream. Uh, but I do Fern every single rebirth. Um, and she gives you 33 crate keys a rebirth. Um, so you can start to see how having 15 rebirths that adds up to quite a bit of crate keys. Um, plus I got another 100 for having the second arc before they discontinued that perk. So basically having a key hack pack is kind of helpful for those. Um, and then just randomly, there's also a lot of other random quests that give you crate keys from doing rebirths that I've done often enough that they've started to really add up. So, um, just playing the game a lot. Fern is a big one. Um, but yeah. Um, I could go ahead and unbox, like, some, um, boss chests too and go grab a huge ton more too. Um, like... I could go through all 256 of these sewer boss chests. I have so many, and I'll get a few crate keys too. Um, but yeah, main way was is going to be the. All right, you are in my way, cat. Yeah, the main way is the is the fern doing fern everywhere worth super helpful. Hopefully my cat isn't breaking anything by stepping on my keyboard. 
Looks like audio is still working. So we're going to go with cat hasn't broken anything terribly bad. But yeah, crank keys aren't super useful, um, like, in general. Like, having one or two crank keys isn't super helpful, so you really need to collect, like, a ton of them before they become that as helpful as they are going to be. Um, and main use is going to be unboxing stuff in the void, mainly Chroma Float, in my opinion. You shouldn't be using it on Cloudwave, since Cloudwave uh, takes less of the other keys. Um, but yeah, either one of those, though, in reality, works pretty well. Um, yeah, I have a cat, um, she is deciding to say hello a lot in this stream, so, um, you guys get to see my wonderful cat named Jazzy, while she tries her very best to distract me from completing uh, this stuff that I'm doing. Um, let's see, we need three more horse ghosts. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, just seeing mass amounts of those, um, of rare ghosts in the same area can be super nice. Alright. Fight bosses. Okay, I think that's where we're going to call it on Fern. And I don't think there's anything else I have planned to do this stream. Yeah, we've done... Yeah, I think we've done everything I've wanted to do this stream, so... Um, I think that'll be the end of it, so... Thank you guys for coming out. It's really nice to see a lot of people in the chat. Um, new people, old people. Just people in general. Um, uh, I'm going to probably finish up... Turning in all these quests... Uh, by myself. Um, and then probably grind a little bit of gum by myself and maybe maybe end up doing like a video i know i know one of those big things like inventory wise i have a lot of chests open crate keys to use i can make a pretty good video doing all that in one stream or in one video um we'll see about that um i also do have another video planned for like next few days so hopefully i get that out and with that i will see you guys soon maybe or you'll see past 